What's up guys, Enrique here, PRG, brokered by eXp, coming back to you with the third part of our three-part video series on how to make a million bucks in 2022 in your real estate business. Uh, if you watched the last two videos, we went over uh, the first six steps and we got two more steps left. Uh, let's recap those real quick. Uh, we talked about mindset, we talked about knowing your numbers, we talked about having a clear-cut plan, we talked about tracking your progress and your milestones along the way. We talked about assembling your team, who's gonna help you uh, execute all this stuff. Um, and we talked about uh, leads, uh, our lead generation uh, plan, where we're getting our business from so that we can you know, close enough deals to make a million bucks. So we got two more steps left, guys. This is step seven and eight of the eight steps to make a million bucks in 2022. So step number seven that I got for you guys is you gotta work on your skill set. What do I mean by that? Is you gotta make sure that you're uh, educating yourself, you're involved with mastermind groups, um, you're educating yourself on all the different parts of the business, you are a student of the game. Why is that important? Well, quite frankly, the more that you know, uh, the more aware you are of what's going on, the more value that you're gonna be able to bring to the different parts of the business, to the uh, customers, to the transaction, um, and the easier it's gonna be to execute your plan, right? If, if you know the market really well because you've taken the time to study or you know the certain neighborhoods, you're gonna be able to now bring that information to the consumer, to that potential client, and they're gonna see a lot more value in you and they're gonna to wanna to work with you, which means you'll have to deal with a lot less people to get a transaction, right? Your efficiency will go up, your conversion rate will go up, the more you know and the more value you're able to bring to the table. So you gotta take the time to study and enhance your skills uh, your sales skills, your scripts, um, you know how you communicate with other people. If you're working with buyers, how you communicate with the listing agent. This, these are all skill sets, guys. There's a lot of sales um, and skills involved in you know having a business that's really successful. If you're out there just winging it, or you're out, or you're going out there unprepared, you're not going to be able to close as many deals as quickly as possible. That's just the bottom line. Now, step number eight, guys, and the last step that I got for you guys. It's going to be, you got to have your systems down. you got to have your processes in place. Uh, think about if you've ever been to McDonald's. We'll use McDonald's as, as, as an example. If you've ever gone through the drive-thru, from the moment you pull up into the drive-thru, the way they have the menu displayed from what they say over the speaker to the person that you know helps you place the order and then they send that off to the person making the order – and in the back end, I'm pretty sure there's a certain way they cook their hamburgers, there's a certain way they wrap it, there's a certain uh, way they put it in the bag. It's all systematized, guys. They're not trying to wing it on every single customer. They have it down to a science. And that same concept, guys, uh, is what you gotta apply to your real estate business. That's how McDonald's is able to sell millions and millions of hamburgers a year and have the same exact result and the same exact experience just about every single time. You gotta do that in your real estate business. You have to map out your entire process from start to finish. That's how you'll be able to scale. That's how you'll be able to deliver a predictable uh, experience for your clients. That's how you'll be able to uh, predict what's gonna happen in your business. Um, and think about it, guys. If you're gonna help you know, 40, 50, 60 people or more in a year, you want to be consistent in your process. You don't want to be winging it every single time. You want to have it down to a, to, a, to a science, to a process that you follow that works for you and your business so that you can get the best results. I know on our team, we're going to sell over 200 homes a year. And just imagine if we were winging it every single time, there's no way we would be able to sell that many homes uh, in that amount of time. Uh, our admin team on the back end has like a 60 or 70 point checklist for every single transaction from how they list the property to once it's on the market, uh, from an email template that goes out, there's a welcome call from what they say on the welcome call. It's really, really detailed and mapped out so that it doesn't leave things to chance. Um, if they just follow the process and follow the checklist, the clients are gonna get a consistent experience every single time and they're gonna be happy and they're gonna to wanna to refer clients over to us, which is only gonna make the job easier. It's only gonna allow your business to scale a lot faster and really flourish. So if you're winging it, guys, you need to take the time out of your busy work schedule, out of working in your business, to working 
on your business, right? And that means taking the time to really dial your systems in and your processes, guys. So essentially what I mapped out over these last three videos, guys, the eight steps, I really mapped out how to create the ultimate business plan. That's what we do every single year to predictably scale our business and have our production go up. And when we sit down with our individual agents, we look through all of these things and we fill in the holes and we really try to create a really thought out and detailed game plan, guys. Um, and, you know, whether you want to do, you know, half a million or a million in, in GCI or 10 million in GCI, it's really just a matter of mapping it all out and knowing all these different steps down to the T and then following the plan. So I'm going to throw a wild card at you guys. And I was, I'm going to say this is step number nine or this is the overarching step out of all of them is you can do all this work and you can map it all out. But at the end of the day, you have to take massive action. You have to stop uh, being on a, sitting on the sidelines, right? You have to get in the game and you have to really have the discipline to execute this thing, to stick to the plan, to not be distracted by the shiny objects out there, uh, you know, by some other agent in your office telling you to do it this way or you see someone having success, you know, doing it another way. There's a million ways to make this business work, but at the end of the day, these are the fundamentals. You have to have a game plan and you have to stick to it and you have to be consistent because only when you have been consistent and you have stuck to it long enough and you're able to look back and look at the data, now you know what works, what doesn't work, what you have to tweak, what the pitfalls are, and that's all knowledge for you so that you can continue to scale and continue to grow your business year over year um, predictably. So. I hope you guys got value out of this, guys. Um, there's a lot to it. Of course, there's a lot of details that are, are you know, going to this, these eight steps, but I really wanna give you guys a foundation and an outline that you can follow, but take the time to really, you know, sp spend the hours mapping this all, all out, come up with the strategy, and then get to work in 2022 so you can hit your million bucks in GCI or more. Sky's the limit, guys. If you need any help with any of this, you know, going through this stuff and maybe, this stuff is, is you know, complicated for you or maybe you're getting stuck on some of these steps, feel free to reach out, guys. I'm always offering free coaching calls. You can see the links in my descriptions. You can DM me or you can know where to get a hold of me. Um, but I'd love to chat with you and see if I can help you in any sort of way. So hope you guys got some value out of this. We'll see you next time, guys. Enrique PRG, brokered by EXP. Peace out.